Hello guys, it's Kafana from Box Better Gaming. Uh, in this video I will show you how to import a model file to use in the Warcraft 3 World Editor. I will open up the World Editor. There we go. Um, before we do anything, I am going to check if I have this one checked. I go to File, Preferences and go to this one in the general tab. It's the automatically create unknown variables while passing trigger data. This one should be checked because I heard there are some bugs occurring when it's not checked. So please just check it. There's no harm to it. Just check it and press OK. We're going to start by uh, pressing F12 or clicking on the import manager. Um, here we can import all the files that we want to use in the game by simply right clicking and import the file. Um, for the first example, I'm going to use the, where is it, Captain Marvin. This is Evil Marvin. It's an MDX file. The MDX file is the model file, okay? I will open it and I will just leave it like that. I'm not doing anything with it. Um, the file I selected, so in the map, as you saw, it only has the uh, Evil Morwen um, and the MDX file. There's no other file attached to it. Um, so I'm counting on it to work, okay? Uh, some models you download simply don't work, um, but if you do these steps right, you know it's not because you did something wrong, okay? Um, so Evil Morwen is imported. Now we can attach it to a unit in the object editor. I will press F6 or open the object editor here. And I'm going to make a new unit, which I will call test model 01, which is a footman. Uh, I'm going to art, I'm going to model file, and here I want to select the new model that I have. Uh, import, and there you go. Just press OK, and it will be fine. I will now close it. I will go to the unit palette that I have here, go to custom. And there you go, test model 1, bam, a nice looking cube. In game it will look fine, don't worry. I will now test the map. So there we go, this is right. Evil Marwin with his nice looking Aye, model. He is working, right. uh, so Aye, the first Lord. test is complete. So Marwin was a success. Uh, now we're going to import a different character, which is Bone Shearer Grunt. Uh, for Bone Shearer Grunt there's two files, there's the MDX and the BLP file. The MDX is the model file, as I said, and the BLP is the icon game interface. Uh, I'm going to import them both, like this. Just, you know, import file, click it, you know how to do it. And so. I will go to the object editor, I will have test model 1, and now I will change the model file to Bone Shearer Grunt, again on import. I will click OK, and now it's selected. Now it's already changed, so I can simply test the game again and see if this model is working as well. Nope, it's not working. Why, you might ask? Because we forgot something to do, and this is very important. I will go back to the Import Manager, which is here. Uh, I will double-click the image texture uh, from the BLP file, okay? The BLP file, you will double-click it, then there is this Property tab, and you will check this box, and you will delete everything before the name bone chewer, okay? I will delete it, and press OK. It's very important to do this, otherwise it will not work. Okay. Um, I will show it again. I will just test it again and see if it's working. Just for you to see the difference. And voila, we have a working model. Right. Hi, my lord. There you go. On my way. I will just quit the game and not waste your time. Um, so that's good. So what did we learn? We learned that Evil Morwen is working with only the model file. We learned that 
the bone chip grunt is not working when we didn't use the BLP file properly. You have to do this with every BLP file that you have uh, connected to the model file. Okay, I imported them both, so I always have to double click, I always have to delete everything before the name. If I don't do it, it will not work and it will only see, uh, you will only see this invisible thing that you saw. Um, just to prove it, you also cannot use the model file from Boneshewer Grunt without the BEP file at all. So if I would delete it, and we would test it now, because now it's really equal to Evil Moen, if I would test it again, we will see what happens. There you go. It's a shadow again. Because this file really needs the BLP file to work. Please do not ask me why one file needs it and the other one doesn't. Um, it's just how they made it. I'm not an expert. I'm not a modeler. I don't know anything about making models. I'm just using models of other people and I'm showing you how to do those. Um, so some models need their BLP file to work and some don't. Um, but just use it correctly, as I told you, and it should work. If it's not working, then either the model is broken or there's a BLP file um, that you still need to download, which is on another page or something. Um, but it should work like this, okay? Just follow these steps that I showed you and it sh most of the times it should work. Um, otherwise, you can always ask the creator of the model or ask me in the comment section below. Uh, please like the video uh, to share with the Warcraft community and thank you, bye.